Afternoon Survivors, today I'm here to review Splinter Cell Double Agent for the Xbox 360, the first of the next-gen Splinter Cell series. And I gotta say, it's a pretty good start. Now the nice thing about this game, as opposed to the other Splinter Cell games, is that it introduces an entire new gameplay element, where you're actually a double agent infiltrating a terrorist organization, and you have to kind of find a way to balance your goals against the goals of the terrorist organization so you don't blow your cover. So there's a lot of interesting things you gotta do to figure out which tack you're gonna take when you do a mission. You gotta make sure to make your decisions properly so you don't blow your cover, but also so you don't piss off the people you're working for. Now, as compared to the other Splinter Cell games, this one really goes a lot farther in terms of the variety of environments. All the games have always been pretty good about being varied and having lots of different levels and pretty interesting kind of cinematic approach. This one just takes it farther. You've got icy landscapes where you're swimming underwater, you've got casinos on cruise ships, you're climbing down skyscrapers where fireworks are going off. There's just a ton of really interesting environments. And I'm just really impressed with the amount of work they put into giving Sam different costumes for each level. I mean, they definitely went all out to try and make this feel almost like a movie that you're playing in. The level structure is pretty interesting. Every other level you're actually out in the field doing kind of typical Splinter Cell type stuff. But the other levels you're actually inside the compound of the organization you're infiltrating. And that's really interesting because you kind of got to sneak around when everyone turns their back and go rummage through cabinets and hack computers. So there's this whole element of sneaking around in broad daylight and just making sure people don't see you, which is actually kind of cool rather than being in the shadows all the time. Now on the note of being a double agent where you have to fulfill objectives for both groups, there's this thing called the trust meter. It's down in the lower left and it shows you how much trust you have from each group. So you always got to make these kind of moral decisions, and I think story-wise, that's an interesting thing that they're finally kind of getting into games more and more these days. Overall, interesting approach, I'd like to see it expanded upon a little bit more. Gameplay mechanics are as solid as they've ever been, interesting new things added with the whole double agent kind of spin, and the story, you know, it's not the greatest story ever told, but it's a step in the right direction, introducing a little bit of moral choice, a little bit of ambiguity, and a few difficult decisions in the mix. So, in the end, I gotta say, this is definitely one of the best Splinter Cells so far. Overall, I'd have to say I give the game a 95% stealth score. Did you hear something? <laughs>